Kinetic bombardment, or its more common nickname, Rods from God, is a terrifying concept that could change the course of warfare forever. In essence, it is the hypothetical destruction of huge land masses via giant metal rods that are dropped from the Earth's orbit. The destructive force comes from the kinetic energy of the rods gaining velocity as it falls, and impacting the ground at very high speeds. How it would work. A pair of satellites orbiting several hundred miles above the Earth act as the weapon system. The first satellite is tasked with targeting and communication, pinpointing any location on Earth with precision. It communicates with a second satellite that carries gigantic tungsten metal rods that would be up to 20 feet in length and 1 foot in diameter. Satellite 1 can instruct Satellite 2 to drop one or more of the rods, wherever and whenever it is commanded to. The guided rods fall at a whopping speed of over 36,000 feet per second. This means that a tungsten rod can easily hit a city with the same explosive power of an intercontinental ballistic missile, causing catastrophic damage both on and deep beneath the surface. Origins of Kinetic Weaponry The idea of kinetic weaponry is far from a new concept. From the ancient humans' use of rocks, clubs and catapults, to modern-day bullets and missiles, humans have consistently been coming up with new ways to use kinetic energy to hurl things at one another. Perhaps the most notable use of kinetic energy projectiles in recent history occurred during the Vietnam War, when the USA regularly dropped what they called lazy dog bombs. These were essentially metal cylinders, less than two inches long, that were dropped by the hundreds from planes onto the battlefields below. These tiny pieces of metal could reach speeds of up to 500 miles per hour, causing untold damage. The principle behind all of these weapons is the same. The goal is to hit your targets with something dense that moves incredibly fast. As this kind of weaponry operates without the need for complex systems or precarious chemicals, it is highly desirable to the militaries of the world to develop kinetic warfare in ever more devastating ways. Project Thor in the early 2000s, the Pentagon decided to try and make the hypothetical rods from God into a reality by creating a project codenamed Project Thor. Despite having the technology to deploy such weapons at will, many factors led to the eventual abandoning of the project. The success of this project is prohibited by one overarching factor, money. These things literally cost a bomb. With estimates ranging from 24 million to 230 million per rod to transport to orbit, it is clear that the weight of the tungsten rods are a major obstacle to the cost-effectiveness of the project. Politics Nobody likes the idea of an unstoppable weapon hanging over their heads. This system would be very detrimental to international relations, likely setting off an arms race in space. Rocket Logistics once launched, the speed of the rods would be so high that some could possibly vaporize while plummeting through the atmosphere, before ever penetrating the surface. Also, due to their immense weight and required distance to travel, there is a high chance that the rods could be thrown off trajectory and miss their intended target altogether. Comets A more feasible plan would be for nations to divert comets that are flying near the Earth just so much that they would smash into their targets. This tactic could be used to also hide their true intentions and pretend they had nothing to do with it. Despite being theoretically possible, real-life rods of God exist only in the realms of science fiction for now. The magnificent potential of these weapons however is something we should monitor, as given the right conditions, they could quickly become the world's most violent and feared non-nuclear weapon. For this video I am donating $100 to fighting the battle against melanoma, the deadliest of the skin cancers. Let's wipe this from the planet. If you like this video then good for you, you are in the vast peculiar minority. Should you want more of this senseless rambling be sure to subscribe to my channel to be alerted to new episodes. Until then, happy existing.